Hello everyone and welcome back to another micro gaming. Today we're going to be going over UV editing. So that way we uh, can take something that uh, you know kind of looks like this and make it look something more like you know something like this. Something that can be relatively easily textured and organized and everything fits. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to organize my scene a bit. So I'm going to hit 4 so I can just select an individual object and I'm just going to kind of move things around. Now that I have everything else out of the way, I'm going to get to work on these front pans. And this is pretty much what I'm going to be working with to show you how to do things. I'm going to select two, that way I have my line selected. And I'm going to move these guys around and rotate them and set them to an axis. So, uh, click, and let's hit shift, click, click, to select multiple things at once. And we're going to snap everything on an axis. So to do that, it's a very useful trick, doing multiple vertices at once. Hit shift, W. And let's move it on the, I believe it's the x-axis, very good. And to move your UVs, what you're going to do is hit G and X to move it on the x-axis. You could, however, just hit G if you wanted to and free move it, but I like to move things along axes, 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 axes. So let's do the same for this other one over here. Also, if you wish, you can also hit Alt Click if you really want to. That sometimes it'll loop around the like an entire edge loop, but eh, if it doesn't, eh, it's fine. Okay, now for the top ones, I'm going to hit Alt Click to select it, select this entire edge loop. Shift W, and I'm going to align it on the Y axis, G, and move it up on the Y, and just do the same for all these other ones. Before I leave these guys alone. Alright, now what if we want to, say, align these two guys together? Well, you can do the exact same thing. Just uh, select these two and hit, or actually I'm going to add these two as well. And once again, shift W, and let's align them on the Y axis, and it works. And I'm going to do the same thing with these two, and you. All right, so far so good. But we need to make sure that this uh, will translate well to over here whenever we decide to actually texture this thing. I know for a fact that it probably won't, but we can test it. So what we need to do is head over here up top and hit new, and we'll just leave everything the same. This is pretty much generating uh, a texture map for us. But what we want is go to Generate Type, and we're going to use UV Grid. Hit OK, and voila, we have something to potentially look at. Now, we're not quite done. What we need to do now is we're, we're going to export this, and then we're going to bring it back in as a material. So what we're going to do is go up here to this, these little bar tabs, click it, and go to Image and we're going to save image as. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to give it a name, I don't know. That. I'm going to name it this. And click save as image. Bada bing bada boom. Now what we need to do is make a material. I have one here, but I'm just going to get rid of it. We don't need it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click new and we've created a brand new material. Now to edit this thing, we're going to go way back over here and select this down and go to shader editor now we're going to go shift a to bring up this menu scroll down to texture and then we're going to go to image texture we'll put this over here connect color to base color very nice and we're going to open up our little texture we just made and mine was this big gobbledygook mess here so let's bring that in voila it is now applied if you don't see it right here uh, you're probably over here in solid so what you want to do to switch to that is hit Z and go down to dev look and there you go you can see perfectly your UVs now you've known you're gonna notice that all these UVs are stretched and don't really look quite right so let's fix that so let's go back over here and go to UV editor mode select everything so that way we can see everything and we're going to just kind of you know mess with this thing and get everything looking all nice so we don't have any you know weird wonkiness because that's going to make our textures look really really strange 
And what we're looking for is all these squares to be, well, nice squares. There could be some stretching involved, but for the most part, there really shouldn't be. And for this tutorial, we're only, we're only going to be focusing on this front side anyway. So, let's make this new Nash. Another trick that you can do is you can hit two vertices and also scale them in or apart. So S X, so scale them on the X axis, and voila. Okay, so that's looking relatively nice. And so next, what you will do is hit four to select the entire thing, or well, select your bad bad boy over here and move it into position because this is where this is where your texture is going to be and then you would scale everything up and down and try to fit everything within a box and given this particular uh, model it in the end it will look something like this the pans over here are a little bit different but you get the general idea everything is really nice and organized and the way that you can tell if, how big things need to be so just say something for this guy uh, the hand uh, for this particular model, they're not very important, and I'm working with small texture sizes, which is why things you know, look the way they do. But since they're not very important, here on the U here on the UV size, uh, they're relatively small, and some things are even jab you know jammed together. But in comparison, something like our pants over here would be relatively big. The less important they are, eh, the smaller they can be, and it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, everything needs to be crammed into this little box, neatly organized, and you'll be all set and ready to go. Well, that's all for today, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long. And I hope that you found it rather useful. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. And if you really want to be very nice, you can, you can always, you know, go to the subscribe story, you know. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.